Well, I'm back again. I've had some more questions and some positive feedback on the video, so I thought I'd go ahead and add a little bit more. Uh, a lot of people think that uh, burn just results in a scar, and then all you see is a scar, and that's it. Well, it's a little bit more complicated than that, sure. You know, if, if you're burning a fire, uh, you'll end up with if, assuming it's a third degree burn you can end up with some extensive scarring you also have other issues that are not quite as visible um, some of them are nerve damage um, third degree burns tend to burn through the nerve endings which ends up uh, as loss of feeling third degree burns also have the uh, destruction of the hair follicles which means you can no longer have hair that grows, which is why you see burn scars not having any hair on them. Um, and you also had destruction of the sweat glands. That's the biggest issue, really. Um, destruction of the, of the sweat glands makes it impossible for the scars to sweat. Now, if, you're, if you have 50% uh, scarring, that's 50% of your body that cannot sweat. And that's a major issue if, you, if you're if you going out and doing physical activities. You can overheat very quickly. It's one of the more common problems involving large burns. Um, burn scars healed by contracture. So what the hospitals like to do is send you to a burn center so you can receive skin grafting. Skin grafting does not uh, prevent the scars um, it does limit the scars to a certain extent um, because scars tend, well, since burn scars heal through contracture, pulling together, um, what the skin graft does is it takes typically skin from another portion of your body and places it on the, well, re replaces the burn skin. You're placing it over the top and it's providing a surface layer for the damaged skin. It heals uh, a lot faster, which means you know the faster it heals, less scarring you have. Doesn't mean it prevents any any significant amount of scarring. You still see a lot of people with significant um, skin grafts. You know, it all depends on the depth of the actual burn injury and the location of the burn injury. Now my burn scars are very, very well healed. Uh, there's hardly, hardly any real scarring. It's, it's surprising, as significant as as the burns were, that I don't have very significant scarring. Um, the reason basically is DNA. Some people get keloid scars. Some people get hypertrophic scars. Some, some people get atrophic. I get atrophic. Atrophic is typically sunken in, where hypertrophic is your more common burn scar. When you see the the really um, really scarred looking scars, they're typically hypertrophic. Uh, if if you see it on, on dark skin people, you tend to see uh, keloids, which are really really thick. Uh, they actually, the, the scar will actually be larger than the actual burn and they tend to stay red for years and years and years um, they're a, a big issue uh, you got first degree burns first degree burn is just touching an object doesn't really do any damage second degree burn does some uh, minor damage just to the epidermis uh, third degree burn is destruct, total destruction of the, of the actual skin. All the skin you see all the way down to the muscle, basically done. It's, it's toast. Uh, you actually have a fourth degree burn. A fourth degree burn is not only just the skin, but it's the skin, muscle, and bone. Fourth degree burns typically result in amputation. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say in this block. Uh, I already covered the adhesions, and which which I have. Um, I have a couple of small contractures. There's really nothing worth videoing. 
Uh, if you have questions on Burns, feel free to post them. Um, just remember the skin is the largest organ. Without that, you really don't live very long. So you know, if you see someone that has a large brain scar, uh, they've really suffered the worst injury a person can ever survive. And it's something to to think about when you know when people are, are making poor remarks and such. Uh, just remember, these people have survived more than most people ever could even think of surviving. Um, you know, that, that's basically all I have to say. If you have any questions, just let me know.